Welcome everyone to our Superhero for Beginners webinar. I'll just give it two minutes and wait for everyone to come in and then we'll get started very, very shortly. Um, feel free to jump into the chat um, while we're waiting. I always love to, to see where everyone's joining us from. Um, so feel free to say hi and let us know where you are today. Steve from Brisbane. Great to have you all with us today. Melbourne, I heard you guys had a had an earthquake today. Um, it's something new for us on our on our Wednesday. I hope you guys are all, all right down there. All right. Well, we might get started and people can continue to join us as we go. Um, a little bit of housekeeping before we get started. Please feel free to use the chat as we go along to say hi, like everyone's doing. Let us know where you're calling in from. Um, and for any general comments as we go through, feel free to pop those in the chat. If you do have specific questions, I would just ask that you use the Q&A function, which should be at the bottom of your Zoom. Um, so if you can jump in there, ask your specific questions, I'll then jump in at the end of the webinar and be able to answer some of those live for you. Um, I will be going through a few initial slides this morning and then we'll actually be going through a live walkthrough um, of a demo account. So please feel free as we go through, if you have specific questions, there may be some I get to throughout the webinar, otherwise I'll make sure that I get to those um, at the end. And Without further ado, I will share my screen and get started. Good to know everyone is safe um, in Melbourne. I think it was a burger shop that, that saw the most damage from what I've seen. All right, bear with me for a moment. And can everyone see my screen now? I think everyone should be able to see there. All right, so to kick it off, we always need to start with a disclaimer um, and get that out of the way. So to let everyone know that Superhero does not provide financial advice that considers your personal objectives, financial situation or particular needs. All investments carry risks, so please consider carefully before investing and past performance is not indicative of future performance. Again, we will be going through the platform um, and we may go into some particular stocks today, but please keep in mind that any pictures, graphics, charts and graphs that we go through today are provided for illustrative purposes only and they are not um, saying that you should invest in those stocks. So today we will cover a bit of an overview of the superhero features that we have on our trading platform specifically. Um, so that's both the ASX version of trading and also our US trading offering. I'll then take you through how you actually go through and trade shares with Superhero. And then we'll walk through the platform and we'll go through everything from looking at your dashboard, um, going through and actually looking at different stocks to invest in, filtering from Aussie and US, US shares, sorry. Um, and then looking at the reports that are available and some of the activity tracking as well to make sure that um, you can track your portfolio performance. And then, of course, a chance to ask questions throughout and at the end. So ASX trading with superhero. Um, now, I'd love to know in the chat um, whether you've traded shares with superhero already, whether you have an account and you haven't quite traded yet. Um, I'd love to know. So feel free if you feel comfortable to let us know in the chat. Um, but superhero first launch with ASX trading. And we launched with an offering and I just realized I've missed our, our main price point um, off this slide. So I'm sorry about that, but at a price point with zero brokerage to buy ASX ETFs um, and $5 brokerage on all other ASX shares. Um, now there is a $5 fee to sell ETFs, um, similar to the normal trades for ASX brokerage, but at zero brokerage to buy. Um, and that really allows you to get into the market and start investing um, without any fees at all. Um, so with no monthly account fees as well, you can really get in, start investing and don't have to worry about fees. Um, some of the other features just to cover it off for those that might not know, 
We have real-time deposits with Pay ID. You can also, and I'll show you this in the platform walkthrough, you can also deposit using bank transfer or BPAY. Um, BPAY does in incur a $1 fee um, from the provider and we pass that on. Um, and those can take one to two business days, but with Pay ID, it's all in real time, which is great. Um, and then just a couple of other features there, access to live data um, and tax reporting as well is all included in your free superhero trading account. Um, so we'll go through that in a bit more detail when we go through the platform. And oh, I'm just seeing in the chat, account created, but not yet traded. Yeah, that's great. Quite a few people that are just starting. Hopefully um, I'll be able to help answer some of your questions um, today. So US trading. Now this one's a bit of a new one on Superhero. We launched US trading in July um, and it operates quite similarly. And you'll see this in the demo operates quite similarly, similarly to ASX trading in terms of how you do it, but there's a few extra steps um, that you need to go through and we'll go through those. Um, so with US trading, it's $0 brokerage on US trades. There is a small percentage fee on Aussie to USD transfer. So that currency transfer, we do charge a small fee there. It's 0.5% of the transfer amount. But once you've transferred that money, there's zero brokerage on trade. So you can go and trade multiple times and you won't incur any brokerage fees. The only fee will incur at the point when you transfer to or from Aussie to US dollars. Um, FX transfers or all that currency transfer is all in real time. There's no express funding fees or anything. So you just need to be aware of that one small currency transfer fee. Um, again, I'll show you where that will appear in the platform today. Um, some other things to note, tax reporting and no monthly account fees, similar to ASX trading, it's all in one platform. Um, and fractional trading. This is something that is not on ASX shares, but is on US shares. And that is the ability to buy a part of a share. Um, so if you think about, I think let's take Amazon for example, for an example, one Amazon share is about $3,000 um, or was the last time I checked. And, you know, if you're only wanting to invest a minimum investment for a US share is $50. Um, so what fractional trading allows you to do is actually buy $50 worth of Amazon stock without having to buy a full share. Whereas in Australia, you need to buy full shares. And that's just the way the ASX works. Um, not something that's specific to superhero, but US trading allows you to have this fractional um, trading format where you can buy part of a share. I've just seen a question there, why US trading doesn't incur a fee and Aussie trading does. Again, that's just the way that the market works. Um, US trading, it had the, the system has allowed for $0 brokerage um, to occur with Australian trading, you know, there is a cost to trade shares um, for the platforms. And so, yeah, it, it's unable to be done on the ASX for now in a way that would be viable um, for any company. Those costs have to be, I guess, recovered somewhere. And so, yeah, I guess that, that currency transfer fee is where we make our revenue to be completely transparent with, with US trading. Um, but obviously that doesn't exist for ASX trading. So we do need to um, cover for our costs that way. And can you use a US bank card on Superhero? We'll go through um, again in more detail when we walk through the platform. But at the moment, as it stands today, you need to deposit in Australian dollars. So you deposit into Australian dollars. And then if you want to transfer to US dollars, you do that through the platform. Um, but you need to deposit in Australian dollars for now. Okay, and very quickly, and this is what we'll go through in the demo, how to trade shares with Superhero. It's a pretty simple process, or it might seem. So you log into your Superhero app or, or on the web. I'll go through the desktop version today, but it's very similar to the app. Um, I'll note where there are some slight differences, but you can log in, you deposit. This, this wallet um, is what you use to deposit, and you can also transfer between currencies in your wallet, um, which you can see there as well. And then you go and invest um, and we'll go through that very soon. And then we might come back to Superhero Super at the end, but let's stick to trading for the minute and I can cover off Super at the end. 
Give me just one moment while I change my screen over for you to the demo account. I hope I'm, I'm going slow enough for everyone. If I am going too fast, please let me know um, and I'll try and slow down a little bit for everyone. Alrighty, let me share this again. Okay, so we are in a superhero account. Um, for the purposes of today, this account doesn't have any money in it. It's under my name, but this isn't my personal account. Um, but I will take you through all of the different elements of the superhero platform and explain what you might expect to see when you have a superhero account that has shares in it. Um, so the first place to go, and this is when you open your superhero app and log in, this is what you'll see first. Obviously on mobile, it looks a little bit different, but the same functionality. So you'll see your account balance um, at the top and you'll also see your daily performance. So at any point, if you were to log into your app and you had shares, you would see how much your, yeah, your, your performance for the day, both in a dollar figure um, and in percentage figures as well, as well as your overall account balance. And we split that out between Australian dollars and US dollars, just to make sure that you can see that really, really clearly. Then below your account balance, you will see your portfolio value and this graph, um, and for next time, I'll, I'll try and get one with some money in it, but you will see that as, as a line graph that shows you your portfolio over time. Um, so where you've put money in and how your performance has, has grown or, or changed over time. And you're able to here kind of go between your one month view, your six month view and your one year view as well. So you can see either a shorter time horizon or, or a longer one there as well. And then you can see this blue dial over on the right. This is your diversification dial. So if you are invested in, and I'll show you the shares that, for example, I followed, you can see there Bank of Queensland, that would be in the financial sector. So had I actually invested in this stock, I would actually see a certain percentage of this dial showing that I was in the financial sector. Um, two ETFs there, they actually show up as other um, because there may be a mix of different industries in an ETF. And then you can see Sonic Healthcare there, um, which would come up as, as health. So you can see your diversification dial would start to build out um, based on what you are invested in. Um, but as I don't currently hold any stocks in this account, it just shows um, as that overall 100% blue. When you come down to understanding all of your account details, you will see your holdings here, and this will look very similar to your followed stock. So you'll be able to see the name of the stock, obviously the icon here or the logo, which I find really helpful. You will see the stock code as well. And then you'll see pricing information. Um, so there'll be a bit of additional information for you if you hold the stock. So what you actually bought it at, what it is today and your performance over time. Um, so you'll be able to see, I guess, how that stock has performed for you since you bought it. So that was holdings there. Obviously it tells you to go and invest if you need to and takes you through to the invest tab to buy stocks. Then you have your following section and I'll show you how to follow stocks in a moment when we go to the invest dashboard, but that's how you can really keep track of any stocks that you might not be ready to invest in yet, um, but might want to follow along and track their performance before you invest. Pending, this will show any limit orders that you've placed and we'll go through that um, that are still pending and haven't executed yet. So you can see that there. Activity will show all of your buys, all of your sells, um, any dividends that you might receive. And then latest news will show news from companies that you are either following or holding. Um, and that might be things like announcements of dividends, change of directors, um, general meetings that they might have. So you can see all of their financial reports, end of year reports, those kind of things. And you can actually go down um, and the PDFs of those announcements are right here for you. So you can download them straight from the superhero platform. All right, we will move on. We might actually move on to wallet next and go through the process of if you were to invest for the first time. 
And this in your app, your wallet actually sits next to your dashboard. So you go to your dashboard, which opens up at the start, and then wallet will be the next tab for you to deposit funds and get started. So here is where we open up to what we call the AUD tab of your, of your wallet, which is where you deposit. Don't have the activities tab. Yes, great one to mention, Vince. So activity is not in your app. Actually, I think it is the activities tab in the app will appear actually down the bottom. So you should be able to see that activities tab down the bottom of your app as one of the four, um, four kind of main tabs across. Um, Vince, let me know if you can't see it there, but you should be able to see it in your app. So back to the wallet, this is where you deposit funds. Um, so there are three ways, as I mentioned, to deposit funds. The first is through pay ID. And this is where most banks will allow you to deposit using pay ID. Um, again, we have some information on our support page on our website about this. You can just search pay ID, but you'll also find information with your bank um, to be able to do that online. And all of those transfers with pay ID are instant. You can actually hear just copy, which I find really helpful. Just it'll automatically copy that pay ID for you and help you to, instead of having to type it out, go through to your, to your mobile or internet bank um, and deposit that way. The other two ways, um, if your bank doesn't offer pay ID or you're not sure how, um, you can use a traditional bank transfer. Now, because this is a demo account, you can't see here, but um, you will see a BSB and an account number. That is your individual superhero account BSB and account number. So that's individual to you. So all you need to do is like you would pay a friend via bank transfer, you put in that BSB and account number, the amount you want to invest, and that will actually put it directly into your account. So that's not a general BSB and account number superhero bank. That's actually an individual, your account BSB and account number. So you don't have to worry about it going to the wrong place if you use that BSB and account number. And again, you can copy the account number there. If all else fails, we do also offer BPay. So you can see I just clicked on this other transfer method methods here. And you can also use your biller code and reference code to transfer um, via BPay if you're more comfortable. But do be aware that a $1 transaction fee will be deducted from your deposit. That is really important to know because our minimum investment for Aussie shares is $100, um, including brokerage. So if you do deposit via BPay, if you only do $100, you'll actually only get 99 in your account. So you need to make sure that you cover for that um, and deposit a minimum of $101 um, into your account if you're using BPay. Just something to mention there. And this AUD tab is also where you withdraw funds. So in order to withdraw funds, you need to make sure you've added a bank account and you can see this bank accounts tab here where you can add a bank account. Um, again, in a normal account, you'll be able to see where to do this. If you are having trouble, you can always chat with us on live chat. We have the team here in Sydney um, that are always ready to answer any of your questions on live chat, but you'll be able to withdraw funds and that can take one to two days um, to appear in your account. So you just may need to make sure you're aware of that, um, but you'll be able to withdraw and there's no fees to withdraw either. Can you go full screen? Am I full screen on the demo? Maybe if you can't see it full screen, David, just make sure that if you have a view button in the top right of your Zoom screen, you should be able to change the view there um, to make sure that you can see the screen bigger. Let me know if that works. All right. Now, for those of you that are interested in trading US shares, the US tab is where you can easily transfer to and from Aussie and US dollars. Um, so once I've deposited into Aussie dollars, I can come to the US tab and I'll be able to see, oh, F11. Oh, let me see if I can do that. Sorry, guys, I just want to make sure that everyone's able to see this on full screen. Give me one second. Hmm. I can see it full screen too. Yeah, I'm not, not sure there. It is full screen 
on my screen, but let me know if anyone else is having trouble. I want to make sure it's clear for everyone. All right. Um, okay, so USD. Once you've deposited, you will actually see this blue available to transfer here. You'll be able to see how much you have available to transfer. And then you come in and pop in here. Obviously, I don't have enough funds, but you can come in and pop however much you want to transfer into US dollars. Once you have your amount in Aussie dollars, you'll actually, it'll show you a fee here that it would cost to transfer. And then you hit this calculate button. Once this happens, it will calculate how much you will get in US dollars after fees and obviously the transfer. One Aussie dollar, unfortunately, doesn't buy US dollar, one, Auss one US dollar, sorry. Um, but you'll be able to see the exact conversion as of that time and exactly what FX rate you're getting at the time as well. So all of that information will be up front um, and you will actually have, I believe it's between 10 and 20 seconds. Sorry, I don't know the exact on that. But you'll actually have between 10 and 20 seconds to complete that. Um, if that expires, you'll just be able to do it again um, and calculate again. But that's just to make sure that the exchange rate is what it is. Um, and we can only hold that for a certain period of time. So just something to mention there. But a pretty easy process. And if you wanted to go back from US dollars to Australian dollars, if you've sold US shares, for example, you would just use this button here to reverse the order. So to go from American dollars or US dollars back to Australian dollars. All right, so let's say that we've made our deposit in Aussie dollars. Maybe we've transferred some to US dollars and we've got $100 in our Aussie and $100 in our US ready to trade. Once we are ready to trade, we will jump over into the Invest dashboard. Now, if you are on your mobile application, you will see that in the middle of your app with the big, ooh, the big blue S um, ready to invest there. And just to mention in your app at the moment, you won't actually see this grid view. So there's two different views, grid and list view. You will only currently be able to see list view in your app. Obviously, we're always working to make sure that we get the best experience across web and app, but you will see the list view um, in your app. And I actually might use that today as it's the closest to actually take you through. Before we go down the page, you'll just see at the top here two flags. And this is helpful if you only want to see Aussie shares or only want to see US shares, as this whole dashboard will combine both. Again, you'll be able to see as we move down. Oh, no, I think my demo account only shows Aussie. That's okay. You will be able to see as we move down. What have I done now? Sorry, guys. <laughs> Always a little bit of technical trouble. Oh, and we are loading. There we go. So, you will actually be able to see down here, you can see an Aussie flag. For US shares, you'll see a US flag. Um, so you'll be able to see the difference there. But if you do want to filter, you can do that as well using these flag tabs at the, at the top. And going down the page, this first section is following. Now, as you go through and find stocks, you can use the little star on the right here. Um, to actually follow a stock. So for example, this first one, high interest cash, if I wanted to add that in to my following or followed stocks, you would just tick that little yellow star there and it pops up into your following stocks. And then again, you'll be able to see that in your dashboard as well. So you'll be able to see it here and in your dashboard. And that will appear at the top of your invest tab. So you can really easily invest in those stocks that you're already following. And a question from Quentin just on the US transfer in the wallet. Sorry, I didn't see that one. Um, when you sell US shares, it will not automatically transfer back to Aussie shares. You will, you will have it as US cash in your wallet. And then if you wanted to get it back into Aussie, share, Aussie dollars, you'd have to transfer back. Um, so just something to note there that it will sell in US dollars. And you can either use that money to trade again into another stock or you can transfer back into Australian dollars to withdraw. Now, moving down this invest page, the first section under your followed stocks is something called themes. Um, and particularly for those of you that might be new to investing with Superhero, 
I just want to explain what that exactly means. So a theme, and I'll go into one as an example, let's go into global sustainability. A theme is something we've created in Superhero to make ETFs understandable for people. Um, so what a theme is, it has an ETF or an exchange traded fund as the underlying holding or stock, if you like. And an ETF is a basket that invests in, in multiple different companies for you according to a certain theme or index. Um, and so what we've tried to do is really take that one step further in terms of helping you understand what exactly it means um, and calling it, I guess, a different name. Um, so a name that everyone will understand. And so this global sustainability theme, for example, has the BetaShares Global Sustainability Leaders ETF as the underlying security. And you can see that here that it tells you in the description exactly what that underlying ETF is. And then you can invest in a theme here. So you will be able to see the performance of the stock. And this is the same across the board. So we'll just go through it now. You'll be able to see the performance across different amounts of time. And just to let you know, this performance um, is not current. It's not 100% correct. It's just for demo purposes, but you'll be able to filter between different time horizons there. You'll also be able to see some information about the stock. So everything from the market capitalization or size to the price to equity ratio. Um, we've done some investing essentials webinars recently. If you do want to know more about things like what a PE ratio means, you can jump onto our YouTube channel and listen a bit more there. We will also continue to do webinars. So feel free to jump on to any of those. Um, and you'll be able to see the dividend yield of the ETF if there is one as well. I will call out now market depth. I won't go through in much, de much more detail, but you will be able to see the market debt, so the different buy and sell um, orders at the time there, but something to look into a little bit more if you are interested there, I won't go through in detail today. And then latest news, like we saw in the dashboard, if you want to see all of the news for one particular stock, you can actually jump in um, to that specific stock or ETF and have a look here. And for ETF specifically, there's a tab called top holdings. And this is actually what the ETF holds as the underlying companies that they're investing in. Um, so, and the percentage as well, which is really important, the percentage of the ETF that that company or stock makes up. So for BetaShares Global Sustainability, you can see that Apple is actually the top holding of that ETF by percentage. It makes up 5.58% of that ETF's investment. And you can see the top 10 here. Um, so interesting one, global sustainability. I'm not sure whether that surprises you, some of the companies that are in there, but it, it's quite an interesting process to go through and really important to understand the actual companies that an ETF or theme is invested in. So you can see that all in your superhero invest hub as well. Vince has asked a question. So themes is an ETF, for example, Fang Plus. Yes. So all of our themes, themes are something Superhero has created, but you're essentially investing in that in that ETF. Yeah, so I will show you now and go back out of this one, all of our themes. There's quite a, quite a few here. Um, this isn't all of the ones that are live, so please jump in. There's a mix of Aussie and US um, in your app as well, but these are just some of the ones that we have. Global healthcare, sustainability, agriculture, US tech giants. Um, we've really tried to cover a number of different industries and markets as well for you. So you can invest in ETFs and themes um, pretty simply there. And again, to mention all of the Aussie ETFs have zero brokerage to buy in. US ETFs, zero brokerage on trades as well. And then very quickly, all of the other categories we've got down here, we like to make things as accessible and understandable as possible. So we have grouped stocks into categories to be able to allow you to find certain things that you might be interested in. So for example, Heal the World has a lot of different healthcare stocks that you can see. Um, it'll have Aussie and US in there as well. Again, it doesn't include all of the stocks that are in that industry. So if you do want to find individual stocks, you can use the search function that is in your app and on this desktop one. So for example, if I wanted to find Afterpay, I would be able to search Afterpay. 
the same works if I wanted to find ETFs from a very specific provider, let's say uh, Vanguard, I could also type in Vanguard and be able to see all of their ETFs come up there as well. Okay, so I've just got a question from Steve. Is the percentage shown in the ETF relevant to the amount invested? Uh, yes, in a sense, Steve. So if you invested $100 in an ETF, you can imagine that 5.58% of that would technically be tracking the performance of Apple. Now, with an ETF, you wouldn't actually directly own that, that portion of Apple stock, but because the ETF as a whole is invested in Apple, you would get that benefit of performance from Apple. Um, so you would get your overall performance would be a combination of all of the stocks that that ETF is invested in and 5.58% of that would be dependent on the performance of Apple. I hope that answers your question there. And a question from Khalil, I hope that I said that right. Um, you've got your super transferred, um, but you can't use your super to buy US shares. Yes, I will mention super at the end of the webinar. Um, at the moment, our super offering is Aussie only. Um, so yeah, keep a lookout for future, but at the moment, Aussie shares are only in our super platform. And question from Anthony, Anthony um, or Tony, <laughs> nice to meet you, Tony. The stars on the right, those in, that indicates following. Um, so you can see if the star is um, empty, it means that you're not currently following that stock, but you can just click on it and it will actually move it into your following or followed stocks. Um, and you can see there, the ones that I'm already following have that dark yellow star. Okay. And Jay, does owning a fractional stock pay out dividends and distributions? Yes. So I actually, do you know what? I'm not hundred percent sure on that one. And I don't want to give you the wrong answer. Um, I will try and get back to you after the webinar to absolutely confirm that. Um, so thank you for your question there. And I'll make sure that I respond on that. Now, if we wanted to buy a share, I will just show you quickly. Once you found the share that you want to buy, so for example, we've chosen a health healthcare stock here. Instead of, if you don't have any funds in your account, you will see add funds here. But if you do have funds already, you will see a buy button here. So that's where, and on your app, it'll be very clear too. You'll see a buy um, kind of quite clearly when you open the stock and you'll be able to go in and buy the stock. Um, I do want to mention that we have two different ways for those of you that might not have invested in shares before, two different ways that you can buy shares with Superhero. Um, now I can't show you an example here, but it will be pretty clear in your app that there's a market order and a limit order. And in very brief terms, what a market order means is that you are willing to buy the share at whatever the market is offering it at. Um, so all you need to do there is specify a certain amount that you want to invest in that share. So for example, $200, if you want to invest $200 in Sonic Healthcare, you would say $200 and buy. And it's as simple as that. And that order would then go in and execute or trade at whatever the market is offering it at. Um, and you would get that equivalent amount of stock. The other type of order is a limit order. And so a limit order is where you actually specify the price at which you're willing to buy that stock. So for example, Sonic Healthcare here, it says $43.30. If I was interested in Sonic Healthcare, but I only wanted to buy it at $42, for example, I could put on a limit order. And so I could say, I want to buy $200 of Sonic Healthcare stock, but I only want to buy it if the price hits $42. And this works for sales as well, but we'll go through the buy example today. So. I would put on a limit order for $200 of Sonic Healthcare stock at a price of $42. Now, because that price isn't what the price is today, that order won't execute straight away. It will go into your pending orders, which we saw in your dashboard, and it will sit there for, th for a period of 30 days after which it will expire. During that time, two things can happen. You can either cancel that order or nothing will happen to it if the price doesn't hit that $42 mark, or when it hits $42, it will trade for you. Um, if it never hits $42, if Sonic Healthcare continues to go up and goes to $44, your order will not go through. 
um, and that will expire after 30 days. So that's the basic difference between a market and a limit order. Again, if you've got further questions, our support page, you can just search on our website, market order or limit order, and it will explain it in more detail for you. But that hopefully gives you an initial explanation um, of the difference between the two there that you might see. Alrighty, so if we have bought some stocks, invested for a while, after, after a few months, we might want to, and this is particularly important when we get to tax time, get some reporting on how we've gone in our, in our investing. So we can come to the reports tab. Now this tab is only available on our web version. So you won't actually see it on your mobile app. And that's because these reports actually come in a PDF format. Um, so to download them is a little bit tricky from your app. And we wanted to make sure we had the most important functionality for you in the app. And this is something you might do more periodically. So you can come into your web view and actually look at all of your reports in one place. Now, there are a number of different reports for different purposes that you might want to jump in and have a look at and for different time, sorry, time periods as well. So you can see up the top here, you could have a look at the last month, the last financial year, for example. So if you wanted to get your financial year 2021 reports, you could click last financial year. You could see the current financial year. So for example, for the moment, that would show from July onwards this year. Or you can also do custom periods as well. So if you wanted to have a look back at the last three months, the last six months, you can, or the last week, you could go in um, and actually create your own custom time period and therefore reports there. And I'll quickly go through just the few different reports that we have available. So the top one obviously is a full portfolio report, which you can download and will give you your full portfolio. Um, or there are a couple of different ones here. I'll call out a few transaction statements that shows any of the buys and sells you've made, um, which may be important for you to know. Your unrealized gains report, that will show you at any time your performance, but for the shares that you have that you are currently holding. So you may not have realized those gains. So if I have bought a share, it's gone up 10%. My unrealized gains report would show 10%, even though technically I haven't sold the stock yet or, or realized that gain. Um, so the difference there is that that might be for stocks that you're currently holding, but haven't sold or realized yet. Whereas the realized gains report will actually show you the gains that you have I guess, cashed out or, or you've sold and realized those gains. So they're, they're sitting in your account there. And there's, there's kind of a high level report, the realized gains report, and then the detail report, which goes into a little bit more detail for you. Again, I'd really recommend jumping in here, having a look around, maybe downloading each report for yourself once you have invested in shares and just getting, getting a feel for what is included on each one. Um, and the last one there is fees and expenses. So this shows you, um, yeah, all of the brokerage fees, any transaction or, or currency conversion fees that you might have incurred on your superhero account. And that can be important for tax time as well. Um, now, we don't give any tax advice, but if you do need some more information, the Money Smart website on the government or the ATO will really help you out with understanding what you can claim um, and can't claim when it comes to share trading. Any of the capital gains um, kind of impacts there. I'd really recommend those two websites. That's Money Smart and the ATO. Great resources there for um, understanding tax when it comes to, to share trading resources I often go back to. And the last tab that we'll go through is your profile. Um, so this is really where you can update any of your details if required. So you can see there your email, you can update that. You can update your address if you've moved house. You can set up a PIN. Um, so that's really helpful when you do go to make a trade and place an order. For security reasons, we get you to either verify your mobile or verify the trade through your mobile or use your PIN. So setting up a PIN can really make that process quite simple for you. Um, and that is to make sure that you are very certain that you're going through with a trade and don't make any trades that you're not sure about. Um, and password there, you can change too. Um, you can also link through here to live chat and contact us. And this add an account button is one that you would have seen maybe in the last few months or if you knew would have seen. I'll click on it and it should take me. Yes, great. 
So adding new accounts, um, I guess when you sign up for a superhero account, you will be put firstly into an individual trading account. But Superhero does have and will have more very soon in the future, different account types you can actually add on. So I'll go through these quickly. Superhero Super will go through in a minute, but a minor account is the first one. So if you have children and you would like to set up um, some investments on their behalf and start investing for their future, you can set up minor accounts and you can set up multiple accounts under your individual account. So if I had three kids and I wanted to set up an account and start investing on behalf of each of those children, I could set up three minor accounts. Now you are still the legal owner of those shares and you can see that here that it will still be under my name, but you can hold those on behalf of a minor. So put in the minor's name, their date of birth, and that will sit, um, and I'll show you where in a minute, in your dashboard, but as a separate account. So you can track those investments separately um, for each of your kids. Again, there's no monthly account fees or any fees to set up that minor account. It works exactly the same way as the individual trading account. And the other two that are coming soon are trusts or self-managed super funds and company accounts. So you can set up uh, trading accounts as additional accounts under your individual account to help you um, if you do have a trust or SMSF. Question on minor accounts, will the parent be liable um, for the minor account? Yes. So you are still the legal owner of those shares. Um, and so you will need to cover all of the tax and legal requirements that come with that, um, but it will be yeah, under the name of the minor. Now, Superhero Super. Um, I actually have a webinar coming up in a couple of weeks. Um, and when I stop sharing my screen, I will pop in the registration link for anyone that's interested. But in July, 2021, so a couple of months ago now, we launched Superhero Super. And this is a retail super fund. So quite similar to, an, to another super fund, but very different in what it allows you to do. Um, so it is a different account to the trading account. Um, but it allows you to be able to invest your super um, into shares, themes, and ETFs. So I will go back to my slides in a minute and just take you through the two different account options there if you're interested. And then we're going to have a webinar in two weeks to go through that in a little bit more detail for those that would like to join. Um, quick question from Tegan. What does the dollar sign symbol? Oh, I do want to cancel. I don't want a new account. The dollar sign symbol, if you see that next to a share, that means that you hold that share, um, Tegan. So just, yeah, want to know there. And Sharon on minor accounts, how do you transfer a minor account to them once they hit 18? You will actually need to do a specific legal transfer of those shares. Again, um, information should be available on our support page on our website. Otherwise, Sharon, if you just contact live chat and ask that exact question, they'll be able to help you there. Um, and let you know the exact requirements around moving shares from a minor to, or sorry, from yourself to legally be owned by that minor once they turn 18. And here again, just wanted to mention, if you do want to add a super account or learn more, um, you can go in and click add a super account here um, in, your, in your platform as well. And I will move back just want everyone to check. Can you see my slides again, everyone? If someone could confirm, that would be great. You should be able to see the super slide now. Great, awesome. So just to cover off superhero super quickly, again, it's not something I'll get into detail today. You can find out more on the website. We have a super page that will explain it all in detail for you. Um, but superhero super is, a super fund that offers you two different types of investment control. Um, so the first one is called autopilot, um, where at least 70% or most of your super sits in what's called our diversified global index portfolio. Um, and you could compare that to other what other super funds offer. Um, but then you can choose to invest up to 30% of your super into different themes. Um, and those cover tech, health, sustainability, gold, and high interest cash. Um, so with up to 30%, you could choose to invest in those themes, which again have ETFs as the underlying holdings and your contributions will be invested automatically. 
Um, if you do join Superhero Super, you'll be able to see your trading and super accounts both in your app, but you'll actually toggle between. So you'll see the investment separately, um, but you'll be able to track them all in the one Superhero app. So it's not a separate app or anything. Um, and in the control version, um, it really is that control. So it's all about giving you more control over your super. Um, you'll need to have, again, a minimum of 25% in that global diversified option. Um, but with up to 75% of your super, you'll be able to invest in ASX shares and ETFs. Um, I've just seen a question there from Jay on how much you can invest in one stock. Jay, um, if you go on to our support section of our website again, um, in the guides and form section, you'll actually see what's called an approved product list. And that explains all of the shares and ETFs that you can invest in and the different limits on each stock as well. Um, obviously, we don't want people to be at too much risk, especially with their super. So we've built in what's called a responsible investing layer. And it means that we've put limits on how much you can invest in one particular stock to make sure that, um, yeah, you're not putting all of your money at risk at the risk of one company. Um, so, yeah, more on super to come. I will stop sharing and we'll go to questions now. And just bear with me because I just want to post in the chat. For those of you that are interested in joining that super webinar, we'll be able to take you through in a little bit more detail um, and answer your questions there. But you can go in and register for that webinar now using the link I've just popped in chat. Now, if anyone has specific questions, feel free to pop them in the Q&A as I go through, um, but I'll go through a few now. So do you offer reinvesting dividends? Um, so a short answer is not yet. Um, when you receive a dividend from a company or an ETF in Superhero, you'll receive that in cash or, or in your superhero wallet. So if you were to receive a dividend of $100, that would appear as money available for you to invest um, in your superhero wallet. But unfortunately, we don't offer dividend automatic reinvestment at the moment. You could go and reinvest that yourself into that company or into a different stock, but at the moment, no automatic dividend reinvestment. So you'll just see it as money in your account. Um, and another question, can you short trade on Superhero? No, um, you can't short trade. I think that answers your question. Um, if, yeah, yeah, if you need to know more, feel free to go to support. But no, we don't offer um, any margin lending options trading or short trading at the moment um, on Superhero. All right, let me just check if there were any other questions in the chat. Otherwise... That might be it for today. Um, again, always feel free to email us at hello at superhero.com.au if you do have questions or on live chat on our website. And do holdings show on the app? Yes, all of your holdings will show on the app and all of the performance associated with each holding as well. So your cost when you bought it, how much performance you're seeing today across your whole portfolio, also for each individual stock and your lifetime performance as well. Um, Kieran, quick question there on IPO investing. Um, at the moment, you can't invest in pre-IPO um, or anything like that on Superhero, um, but once a stock is listed and they're on the ASX or the US platform, you'll be able to go in and invest from the day that they list. Um, nothing pre-IPO at the moment, but um, you know, always keep an eye out where we're looking at what we add in future. Um, and a question which is very relevant to the end of this webinar, and then um, I will leave everyone to get back to their day. Uh, on YouTube, um, yes, this webinar will appear on YouTube. We'll make sure it gets listed either tomorrow um, or the next day for you. And you should get an email with the recording from Zoom as well. So it will be on the YouTube if you want to go in and look at a specific section of this webinar in more detail. And, oh, sorry, thought I was done. I have one last question on share transfers. So if you already hold shares with another platform, whether that's Aussie or US shares or both, um, you can transfer those over to Superhero. You don't have to go and sell them all and then buy them again. You can actually transfer those holdings over to Superhero um, via either a broker transfer or a share, share registry transfer. Again, all of the information is on our support page and the forms as well. So there's a form for Aussie and a form for US. Would love for that to be digital. At the moment, you do have to fill that out um, individually. 
but once it's done, it's done. Um, so we don't charge any transfer in fees or anything. So you can go and find that information on our website, fill out the form and send it to us and we will get that all processed for you um, and over to Superhero. All right, thank you everyone. Have a great rest of your day um, and keep safe. Thank you.